Hey guys, it's me Kat and I'm going to show you what I did with my Jean Reno top notch which I put a lace front on. So that's the last version of it that you have seen where I sewed on those extra wefts and the lace front. Uh, that's what it looks like from the top. It pretty much looks like a full wig. It had a lot of coverage at the back but it was just too thick. Um, and you can kind of see where the lace front and the mono top start, um, which wasn't too noticeable with it on, but anyhow. Uh, you can see how I sewed it in on the inside. I sewed it right to the edge of the mono top on the top notch. And that's what it looked like on unstyled. Um, I always wear my hair in a ponytail, so it didn't really matter what it looked like. Um, I tried the face the follicle pack by using kind of a bungee method, but I found that that little bungee thing was just too thick to wear in a ponytail. And I decided I wanted to take some of the bulk out of the topper as well. What I did was I got a micro loop extension kit for doing feather extensions. And I got some monofilament wire to kind of create like a halo type extension, but without the bungee adjuster. I don't know what else to call that. So you can see I took the bulk out, um, but there's still good coverage with those extra wafts. Uh, I took out the clips. I re-sewed the lace front on. Um, you can kind of see like a little bit of a gap there, but um, there's where I sewed in sort of like a halo type extension with that monofilament um, bungee or stretchy cord. So it takes the place of that first uh, clip. And then I moved the other two clips down to where I have more hair and I took out that bulk. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, if I went too fast or you have questions, feel free to send me a message, but that's uh, about it. Thanks for hanging out and have a great day.